What's kicking you all? Quick Panic here, and I am back with another Pokemon trading card video. Today, we're going to be opening two theme decks uh, from the Fossil series. So, Fossil happened, I don't know, was this back in 2000? This had to be back in 2000. Um, 1999? Dang, 1999. All right, so these, these are old theme decks. And uh, so, my buddy Jules did a thing, and uh, he picked up an entire case of these sealed. So, in addition to these two, he picked these two up. And then he got me this big old sealed case. And, you know, I don't have a whole lot of use for, what is this, eight? For eight structure decks. So, uh, I guess we're going to do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. I haven't done one of those in a bit. It's been a couple months, and last time it went pretty well. So, uh, last time we gave away a copy of Dragon Ball Fighter Z and a Trunks Funko Pop. And uh, so... Today, we're going to be giving out all eight of these theme decks. So there will be eight winners for this giveaway. And uh, I'm going to open these two and keep them for myself because, you know, I like collecting Pokemon. I'm still a collector. And um, so awesome. There, there are going to be some things you have to do. And uh, the first thing is you have to be subscribed to this channel, of course. And uh, if you have your subscription set to private, there's no way for me to check if you are subscribed. So last time we had a couple of people who could have won but they had their subscription set to private. So make sure that people can see your subscriptions. If you don't like that, then I'm afraid you can't be in the giveaway. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so also like this video. You have to leave a like on the video. I can check and see that too. So make sure that I can see your liked videos. I'm pretty sure it's the same setting. Anyway, um, and there are going to be three other things you have to do, but it'd be way too easy, easy if I just gave them all away at the beginning, right? So you're going to have to watch me open these theme decks. So hopefully that's not too much of a punishment. I'm going to get this big boy out of the way. I'm not going to bother opening them until the giveaway. But uh, as you can see, we have two theme decks here. We have Bodyguard and Lockdown. And they make a big Pokeball in the middle, which is really cool. But this is... Uh, it's been a long time. I remember picking these up. I'm going to start with Bodyguard. But I remember picking these up uh, at Sears. So we picked them up at Sears. And I think we only found Bodyguard. It was one or the other. My sister got Bodyguard. And uh, I got locked down and we couldn't find the other one at this Sears. So we had to go to Toys R Us down the road. And uh, there was nothing eventful that happened there. I just remember having to do that. So that's me. I have a lot of fond Pokemon memories with my sister. She's She doesn't play anymore, but she definitely still appreciates it. Remembers names, which is a lot more than I can say for some people. So that's pretty awesome. So here is the now unsealed Bodyguard theme deck. And it looks like we have a muck in here. So I'm going to, well, this is about to get bent, isn't it? Oh man, I hate doing this. Ah, uh, no, nah, I didn't get bent. We're good. So this one's a little bit different than the uh, theme decks we did for Gym Challenge. Look, we have like the old damage counters. Remember how I was saying in the other giveaway, or other giveaway, other theme deck openings? Oh, this one has an Aerodactyl. Can we, can we focus on that? Oh, baby, that looks so cool. I actually really like that coin. I, I'm a sucker for old Pokemon art. So... Here we have our uh, oh, another one of these booklets, card list. And then we have our rule book and a sealed brick. Let's see what's in this brick. Looks like there's a muck. So it's the fossil version of muck. I think the art for fossil is really unique. Um, as you saw in the theme deck openings that I did, this is like childproof. <laughs> um, as you saw in the theme deck openings, they were all majorly done by Ken Sugimori. But there are actually some differing arts in uh, in Fossil. So it's really cool to look at these. Let's just go through this deck and just be amazed by uh, how far we've come. So this is Muck. I actually really like that art. I mean, I grew up with this one, so that's probably why I like it. Then we have Geodude. And uh, you can see the different art style here. They're using different colors, different kinds of backgrounds. I remember pulling a lot of those Geodudes. Ooh, is this going to be different? Are they just going to be all in a row? Oh my gosh, I think so. And a Graveler. I I opened probably more pa packs of Fossil than any other Pokemon pack. Even though when I started, I did pick up some base sets. In my first... Uh, ooh, look at Grimer looking at the moon. Looks all pensive. He's just contemplating life. I like it. <laughs> but anyway, um, looks like these are all in order. That's interesting. So we got a bunch of Grimers. I remember pulling my first Hollow in my first pack of Pokemon, and it was base set. Ooh, look at Zubat. And it was a Venusaur. It was a Venusaur. So that was pretty cool. That was a good start to, to Pokemon life. My dad used to take me to card shows. And he would go look at the baseball cards because that's what he collected. And he totally understood 
that I liked Pokemon cards and collectibles were a really cool thing. So um, I got to bond with him over that. And look at this cool bat. Look at him. He looks like he's dabbing. Um, so he was really supportive of that because um, he collected baseball cards and he saw how popular Pokemon was getting. And he was like, you know what? I'll buy you a couple packs. First pack, Venusaur, bam. This is like the most basic Onyx. Like it's, it looks like it's Photoshopped against literally just a picture of the desert. <laughs> There's an Onyx. Oh, I love Bulbasaur. This is my favorite starter in the world. So that brings me to our first question that you'll have to answer for the giveaway. So for this giveaway, I want you to let me know what your favorite Pokemon is. And I'm going to continue with this opening and you'll have to wait for the next two pieces because you will have to say three things. If you just give me one or two, you're not going to be eligible for the giveaway. Got a coughing. Look at this coughing. That's an interesting color scheme. His belly's like yellow. Looks like he's going to use explosion like every other. Look at that attack, foul gas. Uh, no, I don't know about that Pokemon. But like every other wild coughing when I'm playing a Nuzlocke has explosion. So I think that's the end of the Pokemon. Is that is that right? We got some potions. I know you guys aren't here for the trainers, so I'll just zoom through these. A lot of potions. We got the most broken draw card I've ever seen in my life. Just coming from Pokemon or from Yu-Gi-Oh. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. That'd be immediately banned in Yu-Gi-Oh. Immediately. Makes Bill look like a terrible card. Got super potion. So I think the rest of these, yeah, are trainers and energies. I'm not gonna make you go through the energies. Let's just double check. These are all energies. Cool. So these the opening for these won't be that bad. Move on to the next one. We'll give you another look at Muck there. And he looks great. Look how small his HP is for an evolved Pokemon. 70. I'm opening packs now. <laughs> Look, hold on. This is just sitting on my desk. This Pokemon, this is a basic Pokemon. Snubble. Can, can you focus? He, there he is. 70. He has the same HP as an evolved Muck. That's what I call power creep. So I'm going to go ahead and put my Muck up over here. Move this box. Keep all that intact. And then now we're going to go into lockdown. And so that's going to come to my next uh, next bit of info you're going to have to give me if you want to qualify for this giveaway. I want you to let me know, in addition to your favorite Pokemon, what attack is your favorite attack for that Pokemon? So, like, when I play... My favorite Pokemon is Typhlosion. Typhlosion Quilava. I mean, I just love the whole evolutionary line. It changes depending on what day of the week you ask me. But I love Typhlosion. And uh, my favorite attack for him, it's not the best one, it's not competitive or anything like that, is Flame Wheel, just because I remember that being the first new fire move that uh, Cyndaquil, Quilava, it was Quilava in Gold and Silver, that was the first new fire move he learned for me, and uh, I just thought it was really cool. So the, my first time playing Gen 2, had Cyndaquil, and uh, yeah, that, that Flame Wheel, that's my favorite move, so just tell me what, what your favorite move is for that Pokemon. So that's two. We got one more to go. And uh, after I finish going through this theme deck, we will go over the last question you have to answer. See, I'm not making it easy. You have to you have to enjoy the quick panic content. We got our sealed brick. And uh, while we're opening this, because I know it's going to take me five years, I just want to say thank you for everybody who's been supporting me. The, the channel has been growing a lot. We're at 500 something subscribers, um, which is why I wanted to do this giveaway. So thank you so much for your support and thank you for welcoming me into your life. Uh, on a weekly basis. So anyway, let's continue. No more sappy stuff. I actually love this art for Lapras. If i known there was one in this theme deck, uh, I actually bought one. I wouldn't have bought that one. I would have just had this one, but whatever. I have a first dead fossil Lapras and I have this one. But look, just look at the art. That's Ken Sugimori, right? Told ya. You thought you were done. You thought you were safe. But uh, I'm still going to bring up the fact that this is Ken Sugimori. Lapras, look at this Magmar in the background. So uh, I had a copy of The Hobbit and the the way that bilbo's house looks in the shire it looks like this like this shape in the background so when i pulled magmar i legitimately thought that he was just burning down the shire so magmar taking out bilbo baggins for no reason look at this horsey i'm telling you man i opened so many packs of fossil i'm so familiar with these cards like i've seen this art a thousand times oh man smokescreen doing damage what a new life and this is another good ken sugimori art we got cedra I do like the art for this one. I think my favorite Seedra art, though, is Misty's Seedra. And I had to pick up one of those for my living decks that I'm working on for Pokemon. And actually, I haven't made a whole lot of leeway on... Or, le leeway? Headway! On that recently. I need I need to start buying some more cards, huh? Got Krabby who's saluting you! 
saluting the quick panic people. Another Krabby. Is that what you guys want to be called? Let me know. I mean, that's not part of the giveaway, but let me know in the comments section. My my subscribers, what are you? What who are you? I don't even know. I'm gonna let you choose. I'm not just gonna name you. That's rude. Look at this Kingler. I really like this art. I like. I think I like the focus on his claw because that's like the biggest thing about Kingler, right? His massive claw, crab hammer, forty damage for three energies. What a rip off. Got our basic Vulpix just like standing there. This looks like somebody very new to Photoshop made it. <laughs> but I love Vulpix. It's Ken Sugimori again. But this is like the basic Vulpix pose. We got Ponyta. Look, I'm talking about these Windows 94 backgrounds with Pokemon superimposed on them. But I do love me some Ponyta. I need to use one of those for a playthrough. So if you're watching my uh, Pokemon Blue version Quick Lock on Twitch, the link is down below for Twitch. Shameless plug. Um, you should definitely vote for Ponyta when we get to Cinnabar Island. If you don't know what it's like, what the rules are and all that fun stuff, I talk about it in my... Uh, 3ds unboxing we've got bill uh capture card unboxing rather sorry sorry but basically you get to vote for my pokemon and it's a nuzlocke and you guys get to name it it's really fun interactive i have a ton of fun i'm actually recording it tonight so that i can't wait i actually get kind of giddy when i think about recording it um so we got a bunch of trainers we'll just go over these real fast so the last the last thing that you're going to have to put on the and these are all energies on your comment in the comment section down below in order for you to qualify for this giveaway. Look at Lapras one more time. Ooh, look at that baby. I love it. Um, so the first one that you did, and then the second one, because I'm not going to recap, you could just skip to this point. The third thing I need you to tell me is what your favorite starter Pokemon is from the first generation. First generation. So this is going to be really easy, but um, uh, it caused a, a commotion when we were doing the quick lock and you guys got to vote for my starting Pokemon and everybody was like, no, Bulbasaur, no, Squirtle. My favorite's Bulbasaur. Uh, we started with Squirtle, spoiler. But um, so let me know. Let me know those three things. You're gonna have to watch the whole video to get all three of the questions. And remember, if you do not get all three of them, you don't qualify. You also have to have liked this video and left your comment down below and be subscribed to my channel. I bring Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh content all the time. Giveaways happen every time we hit, a, hit a, a milestone. So the first time I think we hit 250 and then now we just passed 500. I'm really aiming for a thousand subs. So please, please, please lend me some of your support. Lend me your powers like Goku with a spirit bomb. And uh, I just really appreciate your support. And I'm glad to have you guys in my life. And I'm, I'm lucky to be able to do this um, and have such good support. So thank you. Thank you again. Anyway, uh, just hang tight and uh, check out the Twitch stream. You, This will be going up and then the Twitch stream will happen uh, very shortly after I do 8.30 p.m. Central Time on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And on Sundays, I do 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if you enjoy Pokemon content, I stream that on Fridays and Sundays. Thursdays and Saturdays are up in the air. I was doing Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm not, not really feeling Yu-Gi-Oh right now. So that'll be a mystery. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Later! Oh, wait. I just did the whole thing. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that this giveaway, oh man, I feel embarrassed. This giveaway ends on, let's do five, let's do May 25th. So you have three weeks to comment. Oh man, I, I just, I just psyched all of you. I'm sorry. I psyched myself. But anyway, <laughs> leave those three things that I asked for in the comment section down below and uh, I'll choose the winners in a video on 525, so May 25th, 2018. Anyway, now that's all I got for today. <laughs> Hope you guys have an awesome day. Forgive me. Later.